The tinsmith, who was called a white smith, bought thin squares of tin plated iron sheets from Europe. The tin coating helps prevent rust. No tin was made in the U.S. until 1830. Many everyday utensils were made from tin because of its low cost. The tinsmith formed sheets into boxes, cylinders, and cones, and then combined combinations of these shapes to make dippers, pails, cups, and candle holders. The walls of a tin lantern had many holes to let light through and to keep wind out so that a person could see their way to the outhouse during a dark and windy night. But what I'm going to do is, once I get that fire going, I'm going to solder that piece in there so when Mom grabs it, she have a nice place to hold the hand. And then you solder it on. Exactly right. Yep, you put solder right along the top and right along here. Melted metal, when it cools, it holds everything together. Ah, dear. Hi, guys. What's happening? What are you making? Right now, I'm making some of these. What is that? It's a tea cuddle. Okay, it is a measure which will hold. Uh, it's a grasshopper. <laughs> it's a measure that will hold a half a gallon. Ten things, see? So it's a half gallon measure. See, he's going to make it. So if you enlarge this, yep. he's going to make it. See? He's going to make it. See? No. see the ten cups up there? He made them. This. But he has to heat it. Is the body of that measure. That's it. And it comes flat, and I cut it out the right shape. Now I'm going to shape it around here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now, the edges need a little bit more persuasion, so I'm going to hammer on it a little bit. So. so right on the edge, you need a little bit of persuasion, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then I'll do the rest of this with my hand. Make sure that's real and smooth there. And then we'll just kind of bend that back around there. Just like that. And when I'm all done, you see, this is going to fit right on there. And I'm going to solder that so it won't come apart. Now, soldering is like hot glue. Well, Right here. Yes, exactly right. Yep. It's like making it like hot tin. Well, I don't make the tin. I end up making the tin hot. Once this fire gets going here, and get my charcoal going, I'll heat up this tool, get this tool hot, and melt some of this solder right here, and put that along that joint. And that will be the hot glue that holds everything together. What's the metal in the solder? I'm sorry? What's the metal in the solder? Uh, for solder? hundreds of years, it was half tin and half lead. 50-50, okay. roughly. But uh, there's no lead today. We Government said get the lead out. <laughs> We're using mostly tin with about 4% silver today. with some lead in it and that melted at a lower temperature so and it was easier to use. So what temperature is this, uh, are you soldering on that to solder the tin? I'm sorry? What temperature is going to be this? What, 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 what temperature, temperature are, you are you using it to get like right now? Today? Well, I've got to get that hot enough so it'll heat up that soldering copper to over 430 degrees. Oh. So it's more than 18. Yeah.